Welcome to another video and today I am in Munnith Akum uh, and the reason I'm here there is a lot of walks in this area I'm not familiar with it um, but it's not all that far away from me and I'm going to a plane crash site because uh, a Halifax G-A-I-H-U crashed on the 5th of December at around 16.3600 hours um, 1947 5th of December 1947 and uh, that plane then, it wasn't a military it had been a military plane but uh, it was bought by the Lancashire Aircraft Association or Corporation sorry um, from the Ministry the MOD after the war I expect and uh, that morning the plane some, uh, just going off subject look at the view if you can see it on there beautiful that morning the plane had um, taken off from uh, uh, England and gone to Lille in France and was loaded with 96 bales of fabric weighing 6,300 kilograms or something uh, or if you work like I do that's just over 6 ton so you see this footpath all over the shop but um, I want to take you hopefully <laughs> to the bit of a memorial they've got for the crash site uh, there was four crew on board and sadly they all lost their lives but I'll tell you a bit more about them in a minute yeah, I'm not sure if you can see there's some beautiful horses all grazing <laughs> just in the field there eh? It is quite blustery here, but not far off the coast. <laughs> Beautiful woods, lovely paths, absolutely stunning. Anyway, the crew, four crew, there was the captain, and he was John H. Parsonage, DFC. The first officer, he was John Driver, and he also, on this particular flight, was... Um, the flight engineer as well. Then you have the navigating officer who was Alan Brook and then you had the radio officer um, who was John E. Evans and as I say sadly they all lost their lives. Now there's a cottage near to the crash site that um, lots of locals you know heard the and uh, heard the craft coming over it was thick fog that day at that time and uh, apparently well we don't know if it's mistaken the fog thought it was over the sea over to the water Wirral we don't know I don't know but anyway um, a local police officer then PC Price came up with a chap called Kerfoot Davis who had a lorry with some seats in the back made with a canopy to carry workmen to and from work and uh, the police policeman asked would he go up to the crash site to uh, you know to take the bodies away and they took it to a which he did and um, they took it to a local cottage I'm not going to name the cottage I do know the name of it but uh, they took it there took the bodies there until they were taken taken away uh, so it was like a the cottage act like a little mortuary if you like and Kerford Davis uh, he had an agricultural haulage company then um, started a company after that more known today as uh, Voil Coaches 
look at this. Been busy. That's, that's uh, recent, eh? Well, it says recent. Bit of a quarrying. Right. After the crash, when the crash investigators went to um, inspect the wreckage, they could tell the undercarriage, the flaps were down and the engines were running on power at the time of impact. But they never found the pilot's altimeter. That was never found. Uh, maybe you can't see it, there's little paths come onto this track. And uh, I'm not sure, well, I'm thinking this will lead up to a turn off or something to this little monument. But I keep seeing things like that. Now, I'm not sure that's more sensible because it's going up. Maybe. Yeah, we'll have a look that way. We'll have a look, it looks well used, but uh, in all honesty I'm not bothered if I am going wrong, really, this is such a fantastic place, I could do some um, cooking in the woods here, beautiful, but as I say it's quite blustery today, might be a bit better in here, he says, hoping. Right, looked like my uh, guess was right. And we're approaching the little monument now. Ah, oh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, there it is. Memory of the crew of Halifax C V2GAIHU who crashed on Cum Mountain, 5th of December. There you go. The four crew. Uh, that's nice. So, um, let's hope they all rest in peace. Right, this is a beautiful area and as I say, what a beautiful, well not a beautiful spot, I mean there's a crash site, but it's a nice gesture, nice spot and it's right at the top. Um, it did say that at the time, uh, as the plane came in, obviously into the trees, it took the, the top 30 foot off a lot of these fir trees as they came in and the engines came off, they were ripped off which started a couple of fires in the area but um, yeah so hopefully that's some interest to someone there's um, looks like there's been a fire here actually somebody's been somebody's been camping maybe up here it's a nice spot but I don't think I'd camp as close as that to a monument uh, out of respect. Maybe they just had a, what I do, like a spot to eat in the woods. But um, leave no trace. You can leave a tea bag if you want. But, uh, someone else I'd like to say thank you to is uh, Emma Hewitt, if you're watching Emma. Thanks, uh, I wouldn't have known about this, only for you. She gave me some information on uh, Facebook. Give me all sorts of details. So thank you, Emma. Very nice. I will return here because it looks like a lovely walks right around the area. It's a shame it's so windy, even inside here, which is strange because it should be covered. But anyway, that's it. So uh, our visit to Manith Akum. See these little paths? We're heading this way. I'm going back the way I came. I don't know it well enough yet. 
So uh, yeah, money that come to the uh, crash site of the Halifax. It was a HIAU uh, aeroplane. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you, good people, in the next video. Um, in the description of the video, I'll leave. Um, a link to a page which will give you all the information I've give you today and it'll even have a picture of the actual plane uh, before the crash obviously so uh, to show you what it looks like so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one take care